So we've all been musicians and now composers together at the same time. Uh, all of us have been uh, participants in Naraburia Composers, First Nation Composers. And I'm going to kick off asking you, Aunty Marlene, a question about Naraburia. I know that you are an institution in Australian music. Forget Blackfellow music. You, you're, the, you're the queen. And we've moved into this sort of way of uh, writing, notating, thinking about different instruments. Uh, and I wanted to ask you if you could tell me a little bit about how Naraburia, the First Nations um, Composers Initiative, how it's impacted on your creative career so far. Actually, it's impacted me on me in a way that's taking me into a, another um, zone that I find very exciting, very um, stimulating as far as it goes with my growth. Um, my personal growth. I. It, it's funny when I think about it. I. Um, I listen to a classical at home. I listen, and I. I'm always thinking in my head, um, not realizing I am computing all the while, and because uh, I have got a very good ear because I grew up around live music all my life as a small. My father always said the best musicians are the versatile musicians. Your audience is your barometer. And so little did I realise, I did actually inherit that from my father growing up around us. He could play jazz, blues, rock and roll, anything. And it, it was almost like, well, yeah, this is, this is right. I hadn't realised till I was exposed to it all. And, and, and I got really excited. I had to uh, stop myself from... Uh, talking and asking so many questions when we had the workshop because you can't overkill anybody uh, and give anybody else a bit of a uh, 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 look into, you know. I was just excited just to talk and listen with these amazing musicians, be it the, the flutes and the violins and the... Um, what's that thing? I always think of them. Vibraphone. I just... I've been working with the vibraphone players since, but I just say, oh, that ding dong thing, <laughs> and um, yeah, and that that big, what's that other one now? I've forgotten the name of that. It's like a saxophone, but it, oh, it's a bass clarinet. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and when you go up to the top register, you can play in the register of alto saxophone, and it's it's amazing. 